Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. I have already made two loaves of zucchini bread and it was the best zucchini of my life. We woke up to snow today. I almost died thinking about the winter. I saw somebody post something that was like, all you people who wanted fall, well here it is <laughs> because there was snow on the ground. And it's true, I wanted fall. And then once the snow came, I didn't want fall anymore. But it's glorious out now, it's amazing. It's early afternoon, chores and everything are already all done, school is done, showers are done. Um, yeah, it's not cold. You're cold? This is the kind of weather that I like. I like it where it's cool and you can wear a sweater and you don't have to wear a coat. It just feels awesome. I don't know what happened with the camera, but I noticed the show videos were not crisp and clear the way I like them. And I went into all the settings in the camera and literally every single setting was changed. I don't know how it happened at all. So I reset everything. Hopefully all the rest of our videos from here on out turn out good. Uh, we have big plans again on the weekend. Like we have a bunch of different plans coming up. We have a bunch. Fall is actually our least busy time for horse shows, but it is our busiest time for like other stuff. It's obviously the most fun time of the year. What's your favorite season? My favorite season is gonna be... Don't say spring. <laughs> Don't say spring. No. Um, Anytime someone says spring is their favorite season, I always think of the beginning of spring. And in the beginning of spring in Ontario, where we live, is always an extension of winter. It's always freezing cold, super wet, super muddy, super yuck. But the end of spring, like June, is always nice. <laughs> But I love all of fall. It is officially time for the day by day pumpkin carving contest. Is it's it a contest? contest? No. No. All I right. don't even know what I'm going to carve. Yeah. We have five pumpkins and what we're only going to carve two. What do we carve? What oh, are you no, going to carve? Do you have a picture of what you're going to carve? Yeah. I'm going to find one. Oh, you're going to find a picture? Nothing. All right. So Gabby's going to try and carve Hello Kitty. And Sophie's got her phone set up there so that she knows, so she so can I figure out. A movie. Oh, so you watch a movie? That's funny. Here is the loaf that I, one of the loaves that I made today. It actually tastes so good. We have already eaten almost one whole loaf. Yeah, that one will work. Can you find me one of those scoopers? Sure. Here's the one that we already ate. We already ate half of it. It's so good. Truth is, we mostly just do pumpkins for the seeds. We love the seeds. Do you have your design already, Gabby? Oh, she's drawing hers. I love it. All right, so it was a shopping day for goat food and I got this for the ducks. I'll show you guys what it is. Actually, I probably won't open it, but I got a massive bag of corn this time because we're gonna need it for the whole winter. So I got some alfalfa hay cubes. No, alfalfa hay pellets. I just do not know how I'm gonna carry them down to the barn. Cow, corn is heavy. Hi, Grace. You need a bigger blanket, my love. That will be on our list for the Royal Winter Fair this year. I suspect this wagon is not the right choice for bringing heavy loads down to the barn. That's the part of being a farmer that I'm not good at, carrying big, huge, heavy sacks. I feel like there's a better way, you guys. There should be a better way, like a handle, a good carry handle. There's no handles on those suckers. My little feed room is getting over full. So this is the stuff that I have to replace. Got down to the bottom of my bucket. It's just these little tiny pellets. The only thing I don't like about it, as you guys can see, it's a lot of powder. Un, unpelleted hay. Ugh. All right, we are filled up again. I think I'm gonna try getting it at another store next time. Ooh, <coughs> because this one has so much so, like. This one isn't very pelleted. So this bag is essentially this 
corn. That big bag cost $14. This little bag costs $5.50. So I thought it was just better to get a big bag. I also took Sophie to the doctor today. Some of you guys will remember that a year ago, in September, I think, a year ago anyway, she fell off a horse onto her head and she suffered like crazy bad headaches since then. Ever since then, she's suffered a lot of headaches. Every day she has headaches and they're triggered by the weirdest thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> the goose got out. Oh. You gotta go back in there. Here, wait, let him go in there. Get in there. Go. Go. Get in there with your buddy. Oh, my hands are frozen. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. No. He's like, I don't want to. So anyways, her headaches are often triggered by like, if she puts her head down, she gets a headache. She goes into a store that has a lot of noise, she gets a headache. If she drives in the car, she gets a headache. And I feel really bad for her because she's only 14. Honestly, this is what keeps you fit, is that you're always moving heavy things. Anyway, I don't want her to like go the rest of her life having headaches all the time. I wanna get to the bottom of it. So originally she had a, a, a emergency room visit when she fell and then after that she's gone to chiropractor she has she's good this is her third doctor's visit and also she's had a series of chiropractic adjustments to try and get to the bottom of it and still nothing has changed and so today he said that he thinks the best option for Sophie is to try and do a cat scan and see if we can see anything. That's the one thing that hasn't been done yet. We've tried everything else before that. And so yeah, she's gonna get to do that. She doesn't, she hasn't been to the doctor like before this head injury. She hasn't been to the doctor since she was eight because she's so healthy. We're all so healthy. <laughs> so this is something new and we're gonna try and see if we can fix it because I don't want her to like, suffer that her whole life. Big reveal. Big reveal? What'd you do? Works. See if it finally works. It's either the light or the line that's going there. So you guys know that Sam's been trying to put a, a light in the barnyard. This little area over here, I call it the barnyard. It's where our horses hang out. It's where our goats hang out, even though they're not supposed to. And we can't get... No? Yeah, the goats haven't gone up. Anyway, we want to have light there, especially when we come home when it's dark out, especially in the winter, it's like next week we have daylight savings time ends. We need to be able to see in this barnyard. So he put, he bought this brand new light. He bought this brand new light that's awesome and it didn't work. So he's not sure if it's the light or if it's the wires. I think it's the wires. That's a heavy duty fancy light though. I love that. It's the wire, you turned it on and it didn't go on? Yeah. Uh, that's fancy. I have to replace the wire. All right, well that's the next thing, but now we have an extra light we could probably use yeah. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Mama and baby. Yeah, put it over on that barn for goodness sake. Yeah, It'll light this whole area this up. Whole area. Yeah, but this area would have been good because there's, there's a wire here already. Everybody's chilly today. We put blankets on. We don't have a blanket that fits honey. So where that's on our list too. Gracie needs a new one. Willow's is sitting. Honey needs one. If we could get a blanket for the duck and the goose, I would. <laughs> the horses are all kind of dopey, just hanging around, not doing much. And it's weird because that's exactly how I feel when it's really cold out. I just want to sit around and do nothing. This is my barn coat. Yeah, look at all the feathers coming out. Uh, all the feathers are coming out because where I have the chicken coop in the barn, it has all that like chicken wire and it pokes out. So whenever I'm walking through there, I keep ripping my coat on stuff. One of those cart, cart, really, really oh, I should get a cart heart coat. I would love that. Yeah. Love that idea. It would be a perfect barn coat. You're full of so many good ideas, Sam. So all that work, putting up that light actually paid off. <laughs> 
Stuck flapping at me because I didn't figure it out sooner. But way back there, I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's right there, the little box. Let me get a better look at it. Anyway, it's a little bit dark right now, but right here, see that little switch? That is the on-off switch for this power. So I was tracing down the line to see what the heck the problem could be. And that is the on-off switch for the light in this field. They had a reg regular floodlight in this field, so I guess that was their on-off switch. They'd come in here and turn it off and on when they wanted to be in this field at one point, I don't know. But now it's replaced with an upgraded version two, three LEDs, and this one turns on at night and stays on for at least six hours, minimum, then turns off and then also has a motion. So if someone were to come in this gate, this thing would go on. So I might point one of those uh, smaller lights at the gate, which probably would be better. And the big one is in this field, so. Yeah, so there it is. So it's got a motion and it comes on for six hours. Hey, Greasy, you feel safer now? In the dark, in the field? She's ready to go in. You ready to go in for supper? Well, hello, Storm. It's not time to come in yet. It's not time for supper. Anyways, another little upgrade I did today was I put this wood board there. You see that wood board right there so that the doors they don't join together properly. There's a big gap in between, so that'll stop the gap. My next project is I have wood for the bottom there for both doors. And that will stop the wind from coming into the barn at night. And it gets really chilly when that wind comes through this door. So I still have to work on the little alcove I'm making for the goats and if it's nice tomorrow, that's what I'll be doing tomorrow as well. Don't you know that you're beautiful?